Hey everybody, welcome to another DW Plays video. As you can see, this is X-Men for the Sega Genesis. And, uh... I don't know why this theme song kinda slaps, as they say these days, but it kinda does. It probably shouldn't, but, yeah. And, uh, it gives you the, the rundown on what the X-Men are, of course. This is a bit more based on the uh, the cartoon series rather than the uh, the actual comics themselves. We're just going to select Hero here. And uh, you have the option of choosing Gambit, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, or Cyclops here. I'm, of course, going to pick Gambit because Gambit is awesome. If you don't like Gambit, there is something wrong with you. Uh, you have your hub world here. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward platformer type game. Which is, of course, why I am doing a DW Plays rather than a review or an MTO. I am pretty bad at it. It has been a long time since I played this game as well. Sacre bleu! This must be Professor X Special Simulation! Yeah, Let's have some fun, huh? They made, uh... They made Gambit a, a bit more... fake French than they did, uh, actually... Cajun. But oh well. But as you can see, you got your basic attack. Um... You hit switches, it does things. And uh, you just go around and you... You beat the crap out of enemies. And apparently dinosaurs. And uh, if you happen to fall off the, the world, you get pulled back up, which is pretty nice. So instead of just dying instantly like you would in a lot of uh, a lot of platformers, you just get pulled back up, which is quite nice. But it is a uh, very straight. F ah, crap! I, I pressed the button, but nothing happened. I mean, it is responsive. Um, a lot of those licensed tie-in games usually were. Uh, now those things are annoying as hell. Go away. There we go. Uh, a lot of these licensed kind of tie-in games... Although this isn't really a tie-in game. It's more of a themed game, I guess I should say. Um, but a lot of games of this type are usually not very good. Gotta go behind your waterfall here. Like, I, I feel like... I, Pretty much every platformer of this era had a waterfall you had to go behind at some point. Ah! Uh, let's see here. Now, you can switch between other characters when you're actually in the game here. So, obviously, you got Nightcrawler, Wolverine, and Cyclops there. Um, and then you got Rogue. I can't remember who this guy is. Um, but you can call the these four in for assistance. So this is Storm. I don't remember who this guy is, and I don't remember who this guy is. But that's Rogue, and that's Storm. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Nightcrawler here. And as you can see, each character has their own health meter and their own uh, power meter. joys of elevators. But yeah, I've really never made it very far into this game. I usually get bored of it pretty quickly. And, uh, sometimes you just have to take damage because you don't really know where you're going. Ah. 
Oh, those things are so annoying. Juggernaut will crush you! Is that so, Juggernaut? Let me, uh, switch over to Cyclops here. Yay for projectiles. And of course, each character has their own special attacks, which you use the A button for. And, uh, this is, uh, very irritating. <laughs> ah! Crap. doing the right thing the whole time. Switch over to Wolverine just for the hell of it. Ah, of course, the sewer with disappearing platforms. Yay. That's always fun. But, uh, Wolverine's power is obviously a bit underwhelming. It just extends his claws. Run around and you clobber. Yeehaw. Because being having enemies that spam projectiles is always fun. Instant death, because projectile is already there. But when you go down, uh, you lose the ability to select the uh, the character that went down, and you have to start all over again. Also, your health uh, remains constant this whole time. Oh, yeah, you, you had to start the whole level over again. Yeah, needless to say, uh, this is why I've never really made it very far into this game, as you can probably guess. It is very annoying. There we go. Yeah. Needless to say, I, uh, I don't play this game often for a reason. I don't think I've ever actually made it past this level. So, uh, yeah. I don't really want to play it anymore, honestly. So, uh, oops. Again. Um, yeah. Anyway. If you're wondering for my, about my general thoughts on uh, Marvel Comics or X-Men or whatever, um, I've never really been much of a Marvel guy. I've always been much more of a DC Comics guy. But, um, out of the, the Marvel, ah, crap. Out of the Marvel lineup, X-Men was one of the ones I always liked a bit more. I think it's because there's a... There's just a lot of interesting characters that get to, to shine quite often as opposed to just the same old crap over and over and over again. But anyway, 
That was X-Men on the Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, for those of you who are outside of North America. Hope you found it interesting. If you happen to find a cartridge of this somewhere, it's... I mean, if you like platformers, you might be able to get something out of it, but obviously I don't like platformers, so I don't really get much out of it. Also, I'm pretty bad at platformers, so as you can see, I pretty much never made it past the first level, and it's not exactly the easiest game around either. It's not the most difficult either, but it does have some cheap crap in it, like a lot of action platformers did back in the day, so just keep that in mind if you do try to go out of your way to find a cartridge of this. But, uh, again, hope you liked the video. I'll see you all in later ones.